This material has been found over a long period of time in Goff's Cave in Cheddar Gorge in Somerset. Some of it was found in the 1920s and we excavated the bulk of the material in the late 1980s and early 1990s. We knew the, the, the skulls were from the late Ice Age, but recently we've had them precisely dated to around 14,700 years ago. It's the oldest dated example known in the world. These people were Cro-Magnons, uh, they were the people who lived in Europe during the last Ice Age, so they were modern people, physically very like us, a bit more strongly built. And they were sophisticated people, so they produced cave art in various places in Europe, uh, they buried their dead in complex ways, they were skilled tool makers, um, and um, here we've got an example of some of that behavioural complexity. These skulls have been modified from their normal shape to turn it into essentially a bowl. We did a very careful analysis, three-dimensionally, uh, through a new technology developed here at the Natural History Museum, which allowed really to identify possibly more precisely the type of modification. And the most obvious are a series of cut marks, which are scratches produced by a stone tool. When they, we found them in this area, we suspect that it is a process of scalping, uh, but we find them really all over a skull, and in particular, we find a lot of them also on the face, here, which is this part of the face, which are very, very clear. So we suspect that what they were doing, it was to meticulously removing every single soft tissue from the skull. And we have signs that indicate cutting of the lips, extraction of the eyes, of the cheek, possibly cutting of the tongue as well. And as I showed before, this cut mark on the top of the vault that indicates scalping. So the process was extremely meticulous to remove every single possible soft tissue. When that was done, the second phase was possibly to, to break um, and uh, remove the facial bones and then very carefully going all along the, the skull by doing some percussion or banging using stone. And there are different points where this is particularly visible. This is one of them. It was a very careful process. They were really trying to produce an object. And the final touch was probably trying to break, much more precisely, just by pressure, all little fragments present along the, the rim of the skull cap in order to produce a more equal edge. The other support we had is a comparison with other skull cap. And we could really realize at that point how similar the skull cup of Goff's cave were with other skull cup known also for Magdalenian time in France, but also for more recent time, Neolithic time, age, uh, Bronze Age time all over in Europe. So that helped us again to come to our conclusions. <laughs>